Welcome back to Megazoy's Hut. So I've been a bit slow to come back. Uh, I've taken a bit of an extended break now. I've got a bunch of sort of half-finished things. Uh, but I just, I don't think anybody's interested in half-done stuff. So, uh, so I'm only going to concentrate on this, which is the Simpsons TV, where I've, uh, I've made another one. <laughs> uh, I've had this one. This one I gave to the wife and um, turned out really well really happy with that that plastic CRT cover thing there uh, that was with the Pi Zero One and then I've had a relative who's been sort of eyeing that up for years and dropping a few hits so I finally uh, conceded and made another one and uh, yeah it's turned out right the nice thing about this is it uses the Pi Zero Two so it's a little bit faster with the boot up uh, the screen I mean the overall finish is not bad I was going to say, yeah, it should, should boot up a little bit quicker than the other one. The other one's a bit, uh, about 40 seconds, this one's less. It just plays adverts exactly like the, uh, the, the previous one. So, worked on that, and then I thought I'd like to do something for the kind of, well, the community, if there is a community. <laughs> Oh, for anybody that's attempting the Simpsons TV project, you know, this is actually the Simpsons TV project in a different uh, style, uh, and obviously a Mac Mini, and it's nice because it's good for easy for testing, easy access, and it's easy to see the internals there. The soldering part of the project for me is very straightforward, really. I mean, if you, as soon as you get the pie on top of the screen, at least you know you got something going already straight away, and then you just need the amp. And the switch, I've added extra bits, so so it's battery powered. Um, but yeah, I, what I wanted to do is give something back to the... I'll give it back. I wanted to put something out there, which was the an image file for the project, so that people could just burn an image, stick it straight into uh, this, this setup, where they've got the Pi slapped onto the wave share screen and it runs so that if they, you know, just so they can test the soldering or, you know, if they're no good at coding, because I almost gave up with the coding side of this. So I've finally done an image and got it down to a decent size. It's um, Pi, Pi Shrink and, uh, and then GZip after that. So it's about 700 megabytes. So it's not bad. It's got a, three test videos. And the smash screen on there, which obviously you'll want to change. Um, but yeah, people are still making these. I, I noticed on Reddit three months ago, somebody, you know, made another Simpsons TV and a lot of interest in that. We got a thousand votes, which, uh, you know, I'd love to get a thousand up to up votes, but uh, you got a thousand likes on it. So people are still interested in this project. So I'm going to upload that to the... Uh, to my um, Google Drive and then uh, links in the description. And then as a brief, after this, as a brief um, uh, tutorial on how to burn the image, but it's very straightforward, really. The only thing you're going to be stuck with is, is creating your video files, which uh, you're still going to have to do that. But at least you can get the thing up and running. Um, only one other thing I want to say at, at this stage is uh, whoever won this uh, Pico Pocket, did not claim it. Uh, there's no judgment there, but you, you know, haven't, uh, and you've left it in the hands of a tinkerer. So it's actually been used for testing. Now, if you do want it, get in touch in the next couple of weeks, because after a couple of weeks, I'm just going to assume you don't want it. Um, I have been doing some further modifications to this. There's a few things I want to add and then maybe take it further, but that's all kind of, I'm still in the, um testing pages of all that so i'm not going to get into it but yeah that's it for this video uh simpsons tv revisited it's uh four years this year i think that he released it and uh yeah very popular super popular project probably the one of the most popular diy electronics projects i've seen uh outside of you know catalogs and and things like that uh yeah anyway there's going to be a short uh, video about how to use it, and then thanks for watching. So this is uh, Linux Mint, latest version, Cinnamon. I think uh, don't think it really matters which Linux operating system you're using. I mean, I've also tried this on Windows, which is nice. It works on Windows, and it works on the Raspberry Pi OS. So we need to insert an SD card. 
I'm using 64 gigs. I don't think it really matters. 32 will work. 16 will probably work. Now you might even get away with eight, but you're not going to get many videos on there. And then we need uh, Raspberry Pi Imager. Well, that's what I'm using. Uh, if this isn't installed, it's not natively installed on um, Mint, uh, but this is the command you use to install it on Mint. You might need that, sudo. Uh, so we install that, choose device. Don't think that's that necessary, but let's uh, just put it on the right one. Use the image, which is a zipped image, it's not here. Select that, choose storage, next, no, I don't want to, yes. Uh, writing takes a while. There's also a weird thing where it sticks at 99 and then uh, carries on. So yeah, I've tested this fairly well. And the nice thing about it, as I said, is you get something in your hand almost instantly that will work on the Simpsons TV. Um, you obviously there is some faffing around to then change the videos on there. You obviously don't want to just sit there with your test videos and your test splash screen. So there is a little bit of faffing around, but you get something in your hand instantly, which is, as I said, it was the nightmare of building the Simpsons TV was the working through the huge list of uh, things. It was for me anyway, and uh, huge huge list of commands and stuff to to get anything running. The um, the actual soldering is a kind of a, well, I'm, I don't want to insult anybody who had trouble with it, but it is, for me, it was very, very simple. Right, cancel the verification. Okay, so as I said, that would work now at straight away. Take the card out. If you've got all your soldering done, that will work on the Simpsons TV project. So you end up with these two, um, they're not directories, they're... Uh, Sections, <laughs> I forgot the name of it. You've got these two sections. Uh, the boot one, we don't need to change anything. Again, that's it's totally set up for the Simpsons Video TV already. This is the one where you want to make changes. So in the home folder directory, there's a uh, Pi Simpsons TV videos. This is where I've just put three fairly random, semi-funny, uh, old uh, adverts. And then, um, so you'd want to get rid of those and put drag and drop your own videos in there they've got to be obviously the right format they you will have to follow the instructions to create your own um, working videos i'm not going to go through that but um, and then in this one is where the splash screen is this one you'd have to you can open it but you can't change anything unless you get uh, admin or root privileges so open as root which is another reason to do this on Linux, really, because Windows, that's going to be a pain. Probably won't even show you the directory. Um, so you'd make the change there, delete, get something in the same sort of format, same size. Put your own la -di da <laughs> splash screen on there. And, uh, and that's it. Job done. Um, now, there are a couple of... One other thing <clears throat> is the um, the image doesn't expand completely to take up the entire SD card. So there is one other thing here. Again, it wouldn't stop you just testing it, but we've just got to expand the um, one of the directories, one of the, uh, not directories, the volumes. Uh, one of the, I can't remember the name. Anyway, uh, this thing, obviously you've got a lot of free space. It's unused there. You can't use it at the moment. So you need to expand this, uh, resize. There we go. Take up the entire SD card. I'm still doing it. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Partitions. That's a partition. <laughs> I remember the name. You've got to expand this partition, right? So there's that's taking up the whole... Um, again, that might be uh, very, very difficult in Windows, but in, in Linux, I mean, you can just in, you know, run Linux from a thumb drive just to do these things. Anyway, that's it. Job done.